Okay, so I've cut off the excess material. Um, so again, 23 and a half inches here. Uh, that's the width, 14 and a half inches, uh, sorry, 14 inches tall. So what we're gonna do is set this aside. We're gonna work on the bottom of the bag. So uh, this is the off cut from the very top. And if we look again at Smith's book, um, he's got the overall diameter of the material at seven and a half inches. Um, so that's seven inches for the bottom, half inches, half inch all around uh, for the seam allowance. So what we're gonna do, um, take a ruler here, take our compass slash dividers, and what we're gonna do is uh, half of seven and a half is uh, three and three quarters. So I'm gonna set tip of the pencil here, right down at the end of the ruler, and I'm gonna open these dividers up till that point hits three and three quarters. And double check, make sure I haven't drifted at all. Okay, we'll lock those into place. So what that'll allow me to do is take my dividers here and I'll go pretty close up to the edge, you don't want to waste. Make sure you've got enough space around so you don't run out of material. All right, and I'll start laying out. Again, this is just in pencil. A circle. It's seven and a half inches in diameter. I'm gonna go over it a little bit more just to make it darker. All right, so that's the overall diameter. Uh, again, seven and a half inches. Grab the ruler here, make sure we did the math right. All right, you know, seven and a half inches. I know it's a little bit tough to see. So what we're gonna do is remove effectively a half inch to allow for the seam. And take this ruler. Ooh, and actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark this center here. And just for the sake of emphasizing it, hit that with a Sharpie. Plot that here. Make sure everything is where it ought to be. Cool, all right, I mark my center. Should probably do that first. Now, I want to remove half an inch overall so that we have a seven inch circle in the middle. So you're effectively removing a quarter from all around. I'll bring this back to the ruler. I'll take my dividers and slide them down that quarter of an inch. So we're sitting at three and a half inches. Lock those back into place. Okay. Set the divider here. And now, we make a circle within the circle. And just going around here so it's a little bit better defined. Now, double check to make sure. Okay, and that's seven inches. The center there is marked right at three and a half. All right. So this is going to be the bottom of the bag. So, get that cut out. And it doesn't have to be super tight to the line. Get it close so you don't have a whole lot of excess. Um, better to have more around 
than less. You don't want to cut in because then it'll just make it a bit more difficult when you're trying to stitch the body of the ditty bag and the bottom together. Again, this is a little bigger than I need it to be, but I'll be physically affixing the body of the bag with the material over here to the bottom, and this will be where I pass the needle through. 